Unit 1. Word List. Acre. An acre is a unit for measuring area. They lived on a 150 acre farm. Afterlife. The afterlife is a life that some people believe begins when a person dies. I believe that there is an afterlife. Archaeology. Archaeology is the study of the remains left by ancient societies. He enjoyed visiting the Great Pyramids of Egypt because he loves archaeology. Chamber. A chamber is a closed space or room used for a special purpose. The meeting was held in the faculty chamber. Channel. A channel is a long, deep space between two edges. The river cut a channel through the rocks. Core. A core is the main or central part of something. Earth has a solid inner core. Corridor. A corridor is a narrow passage that leads into other areas. He took the corridor on the left to go to his office. Distinct. A distinct thing is different or stands out. He has a distinct accent. Elite. Elite means of or from a high level group. Only an elite group was allowed membership into the club. Engineer. To engineer something is to skillfully plan out how to make that thing. After engineering the robot, they needed to find the correct parts to build it. Found. To found something means to start, organize, or establish that thing. My grandfather founded the city bank. Gap. A gap is a space between two things. There is a small gap between the blocks of wood. Glory. Glory is the importance, magnificence, or specialness of something. They enjoyed the glory of the beautiful sunset. Interior. An interior is the inside of something. They looked at the interior of the box. Lion. A lion is a large animal in the cat family. We went to see the lion at the zoo. Roll. A roll is a job, position, or part in something. Her role in the office is to sell products to customers. Royal. Royal means related to a king or queen. The Duchess was part of the royal family. Soul. A soul person or thing is the only one. She was the sole woman in the room. Stairs. Stairs are a set of steps built to go from one level of a building to another. He took the stairs instead of the elevator. Surface. The surface is the top layer of something. She wiped the surface of the table. The Great Pyramids of Egypt. The distinct history of the famous Great Pyramids has been studied for many years by people who study archaeology. The pyramids were built nearly 5,000 years ago. According to ancient Egyptians, kings played an important role in the building of the pyramids. Egyptians believed that kings were chosen by the gods and that, when a king died, He went on to become the god of the dead in the afterlife. Gold, food, and clothes were buried with the body so that the spirit would have these things in the afterlife. The royal family and other elite individuals were also buried near the king. Pyramids were founded for the sole reason of helping the king by containing his things for the afterlife. The biggest of the three pyramids is known as the Great Pyramid. This structure took over 20 years to engineer. 
The Great Pyramid is made of over 2.5 million stone blocks. The base alone covers an area of 13 acres. One acre is almost the size of a football field. The visible core of the Great Pyramid was originally covered by smooth casing stones. Some of the casing stones that cover the surface can still be seen at the base. The stones were laid so well that there is not a single gap between them. The interior of the Great Pyramid is accessible through stairs that lead to a channel, which then divides into a corridor going up and another going down. The rising corridor goes up to the Queen's Chamber, the Grand Gallery, and the King's Chamber. The other corridor goes down to an underground chamber and an escape tunnel. The Sphinx is a big statue of a lion with a human head and can be found near the Great Pyramid. The statue is also made from big stones and it is said to guard the pyramid. Surrounded by history and mystery, the Great Pyramids of Egypt are a popular place to visit and tourists come from around the world to see their glory. Unit 2 Word List Agreement An agreement is a formal decision about future action. I think you'll get Tom's agreement to this proposal. Arise To arise is to happen. Difficulties arose with his computer because it was old. Benefactor a benefactor is a person who gives money to help someone. The student's benefactor gave him money to spend on his studies. Blacksmith A blacksmith is a person who makes things out of metal. The blacksmith pounded the piece of metal until it was flat. Chimney A chimney is a tall pipe used to carry smoke out of a building. The cat was sitting on the roof next to the chimney. Compensate To compensate is to pay someone for the time they spent doing something. Her boss compensated her for the extra work she did last week. Encounter To encounter is to find or meet a person or thing. I encountered a sea turtle while I was swimming. Exceed. To exceed is to be more than something. Since I exceeded my limit, I decided to get rid of my credit cards. Forge. To forge is to make or produce, especially with difficulty. Stacy and Heather forged their friendship when they were teenagers. Humble. People who are humble do not believe that they are better than other people. Even though Bob is the smartest boy in his class, he is humble. Iron Iron is a strong metal that is used to make many objects. The horse had shoes made of iron. Ladder A ladder is an object that is used to climb up and down things. He used a ladder to climb to the top of his treehouse. Modest If people are modest, they do not think that they are too important. Derek is very modest for someone who is so rich. Occupy To occupy a place is to live, work, or be there. Kevin and Alice occupied the chairs and had a long discussion. Penny. A penny is a coin worth one cent. U.S. President Abraham Lincoln is on the penny. Preach. To preach is to talk about and promote a religious idea. Aaron often preached about living an honest life. Prosper. To prosper is to be successful or make a lot of money. Frank's new business finally prospered after many years of hard work. Province A province is an area that is controlled by a country. Canada is divided into several different provinces. 
Satisfaction. Satisfaction is the feeling of having done or received something good. Brad was filled with satisfaction when he saw what was for dinner. Sustain. To sustain something is to keep it going. Wind power is a clean way to sustain a city with energy. The real Saint Nick. At Christmas, children wait for Saint Nicholas to bring gifts down the chimney. But it's not just a story. Saint Nicholas was a real person. A long time ago, a man named Marcus occupied a house with his family. He was not modest. He always told everybody he was the strongest man in the province. He worked hard, but he could barely sustain his family. He wanted to save money and prosper. Still, he could never earn a penny more than he needed. One day, Marcus made an agreement with a blacksmith. The blacksmith had a lot of work to do, but he couldn't do it all by himself. Marcus wanted to help him forge iron. The blacksmith agreed to compensate him with a lot of money. In the same town, there was a man named Nicholas. At an early age, Nicholas started preaching. But he also believed that he should be humble and helpful. He learned that helping people gave him even more satisfaction than preaching. One day, Nicholas encountered Marcus. Marcus told Nicholas about his agreement with the blacksmith. I worked hard for him, Marcus said, but a problem arose. Even though I worked for him, he didn't pay me. Nicholas wanted to help Marcus. That night. He went back to Marcus's house. He brought a bag of gold. It exceeded the amount that Marcus needed. Nicholas climbed up a ladder and dropped the bag of gold down the chimney. Marcus thanked his benefactor. Soon, people found out about Nicholas's gift. He became well known and loved. Even today, people still give secret gifts to children, and we say they are from Saint Nicholas. Unit three. Word list. Acquire. To acquire something is to get or gain possession of that thing. Tina acquired a strange package yesterday. Awkward. An awkward thing is embarrassing and uncomfortable. After dropping his coffee cup, Robbie felt awkward. Caretaker. A caretaker is a person who takes care of very young, old, or sick people. My grandmother's caretaker helps her get around the house. Deceive. To deceive is to make someone believe something that is not true. He tried to deceive his friends with a card trick. Discourage. To discourage is to make someone feel less excited about something. Mr. Perry discouraged the students from quitting school. Fake. A fake thing is made to look real in order to trick people. The model was wearing fake hair. Hatred. Hatred is a strong feeling of not liking someone or something. I have a hatred for the taste of medicine. Hut. A hut is a house made of wood, grass, or mud that has only one or two rooms. We all went into the hut to sleep. Inferior. An inferior thing is not as good as something else. Cars built a hundred years ago are inferior to ones built today. Lodge. A lodge is a house in the mountains used by people who hunt or fish. During our ski trip, we stayed at a lodge. Neglect. To neglect someone or something is to not take care of it properly. William neglected his room, so it is a complete mess. Newcomer. 
A newcomer is a person who has recently arrived at a place or a group. The students happily welcomed the newcomer to the school. Offense. An offense is behavior that is wrong or breaks a law. Stealing a car is a very serious offense. Overlook. To overlook something is to not notice it or to not realize that it is important. Brenda overlooked the last step and had a bad fall. Repay. To repay is to pay back or to reward someone or something. She repaid her friend for all of his hard work with a small gift. Ridiculous. A ridiculous thing is silly or strange. Steve looked ridiculous with those huge blue sunglasses. Satisfactory. A satisfactory thing is good enough. Mina often received satisfactory grades since she studied so hard. Shepherd. A shepherd is a person who protects and cares for sheep. The shepherd moved the sheep to another field. Venture. To venture is to go to a place that may be dangerous. Even though it was dangerous, they ventured up the mountain. Wheat. Wheat is a plant from which we get the grain used to make bread. The field of golden wheat was ready to be harvested. The Shepherd and the Wild Sheep. Once there was a shepherd. Every night he gathered and counted his sheep. He made sure never to overlook any of them. One night, He saw some wild sheep had joined his herd. He hoped to acquire the newcomers. It snowed that night. In the morning, the shepherd couldn't take his sheep out of his lodge. Instead, he had to feed them inside. He gave a small amount of wheat to his own sheep, but he gave more of the food to the wild sheep. He thought the extra wheat would discourage them from leaving. It snowed for several days. During that time, the shepherd's sheep ate very little. The wild sheep, however, ate very well. At last, the snow melted and they ventured outdoors. As soon as he opened the door of his hut, the wild sheep started to run away. Wait, this is how you repay me? After I treated you so kindly, why do you run away? The shepherd asked. His voice was full of hatred. The wild sheep stopped and turned toward the shepherd. We're leaving because you fed us better than your own sheep, one of the wild sheep replied. You tried to deceive us with your ridiculous plan. Yesterday, you treated us kindly, but tomorrow you might be different. If more wild sheep joined your herd, you would treat us as inferior sheep. As the wild sheep ran away, the shepherd understood his offense. He knew this awkward situation was his own fault. He had not been a satisfactory caretaker. He was a fake friend to the wild sheep. Because of this, he had neglected his own sheep. Unit 4 Word List Alley An alley is a narrow road between houses or buildings. The alley behind my house looks dirty. Axe. An axe is a tool used to cut wood. She used an axe to cut some wood for the fire. Bunch. A bunch is a group of the same things. She was hungry, so she ate the entire bunch of grapes. Chore. A chore is an unpleasant job that must be done. It's Nikki's chore to do the dishes every Tuesday and Wednesday night. Decent. A decent person or thing is okay or good enough. Eric did a decent job painting the fence. Disgraceful. Disgraceful behavior is behavior that is very bad. 
This is a disgraceful waste of money. Elbow. The elbow is the middle part of an arm where it bends. She pointed to her elbow to show me where she hurt herself. Grateful. A grateful person feels thankful about something. The girls were grateful for the chance to visit their grandfather. Irritate. To irritate means to annoy someone. She was irritated when her brother told her that he had lost her camera. Kid. To kid is to say something that is not true as a joke. I am not really mad. I was kidding when I said I was angry. Loose. A loose thing is not held in place tightly. The bolt was loose, so I tightened it with the wrench. Offend. To offend is to make someone angry or upset. They were both offended by what they had said to each other. Overnight. An overnight action happens during the night. The campers stayed in the tent overnight. Persist. To persist means to keep doing something even when it is hard. Even though the lesson was difficult, he persisted until he understood. Pine. A pine is a type of tall, thin tree with needles instead of leaves. There were many beautiful pine trees in the forest. Scar. A scar is a mark on the skin after a wound heals. The man had horrible scars on his cheek and forehead. Sensation. A sensation is a feeling that people get from their senses. Mom got a painful sensation in her head from the loud noise. Sled. A sled is a small vehicle used on snow. Marvin likes to ride his sled down the hill in winter. Tease. To tease means to laugh at or make fun of someone. Jake teased Charlie because he was the new student. Valentine. A valentine is someone loved or admired with great affection. Harry wanted Molly to be his valentine. The boy and his sled. Mike was the smallest child in school. Another boy, Joe, always teased Mike. Joe had a large scar on his face from fighting other children. One day, Joe offended Mike when he made fun of Mike's valentine, Jane. This was disgraceful, but Mike didn't know how to make Joe stop. That day, Mike walked home down an alley. He found a bunch of wood boards next to a pine tree. He thought to himself, "I could build a decent sled from these. If I let Joe use it, he will be nicer to me and Jane." He took the wood home. Mike got an axe and cut the wood. He used nails to make sure that the pieces were not loose. As he worked, he bumped his elbow on the boards. The painful sensation made him want to cry. It was a hard chore, but he persisted. He worked overnight. By morning, the sled was finished. Mike called Joe on the telephone. He said, "Hi, Joe. Come over to my house right away." Joe didn't know why Mike wanted him to come over. When Joe arrived, Mike told him, "Joe, it irritated me the other day when you said mean things about Jane. You weren't kidding when you said those mean things. But I'm not like you. I just built this sled, and I'll let you ride it with me if you are nice." They became friends, and Joe was grateful that Mike was so nice to him. He learned that it is more fun to be nice than to be mean. Unit five. Word list. Acquaint. To acquaint is to get to know something or someone. 
Nancy acquainted herself with a new computer. Cemetery. A cemetery is a place where people are buried when they die. Some people are scared of cemeteries. Creature. A creature is an animal or person. Those creatures live in Africa. Curse. To curse someone is to hope that bad things happen to that person. The witch cursed the village. Disguise. A disguise is something you wear so people cannot tell who you are. Everyone knew that it was Dad in the Santa disguise. Fancy. A fancy thing is nicer or more detailed than normal. Their table was all set for a fancy dinner. Flashlight. A flashlight is a small electric light that people carry in their hands. We took a flashlight when we went camping. Hood. A hood is part of a coat that goes over a person's head. She put on her hood to keep her head warm. Inhabitant. An inhabitant is a person who lives in a certain place. The number of inhabitants in the countryside is increasing. Nourish. To nourish is to give someone or something the food needed to live. A good mother will nourish her baby every day. Pirate. A pirate is a sailor who steals things from other boats. Pirates are very scary characters. Publication. A publication is something printed, like a newspaper or book. She's been a subscriber to that publication for over 10 years. Riddle. A riddle is a question that is difficult to answer, but meant to be funny. I could not answer Wendy's riddle, but it made me laugh. Rot. To rot is to slowly get softer and become destroyed. The old log began to rot in the forest. Shortly. An action that happens shortly happens very soon. My workday will end shortly. Skeleton. A skeleton is all the bones of a body. There is a skeleton in the science classroom. Spoil. To spoil is to rot or to make bad. We left the fruit out too long and it spoiled. Starve. To starve is to not get enough food for a long period of time. During the war, many people starved. Thrill. A thrill is an exciting feeling. The surfer enjoys the thrill of surfing a big wave. Wicked. A wicked person is very bad or evil. My boss is a very wicked man. Trick or treat. Many different cultures have had traditions about the dead. People in places like Ireland, China, Egypt, and Mexico believed that souls needed food. They thought the food nourished them on their journey from cemeteries to heaven. People had to put out good things for souls to eat. However, if the food rotted or spoiled, the soul got mad. The wicked soul might curse the family and make them starve during the winter. In other places, People begged for food on a holiday that remembers the souls of dead saints. People wore disguises with hoods that covered their faces. If they did not get food, they played a trick on the home's owner. For this reason, the activity is known as trick or treating. Shortly after people first began trick or treating, parents started sending their children to beg on that day. Housewives gave the children food if they performed a song or a dance. When people moved to America from all over the world, they brought this tradition with them. Inhabitants of villages started trick or treating in the early 1900s. 
In 1939, a children's publication acquainted the whole country with the tradition. It became very popular. Today, trick or treaters do not beg for food and they are not scared of souls. They just enjoy the thrill of dressing up like creatures and getting candy. Ghosts and skeletons are favorite costumes. But some children wear fancy disguises like pirate costumes. They carry flashlights instead of fires. In some places, children still perform songs or riddles to get candy. But most of the time, they just say, trick or treat. Unit 6 Word List Alert. To alert someone is to tell or warn that person about something. The fire alarm alerted us that there was a problem. Broadcast. A broadcast is a television or radio show. We watched the broadcast of the local news on TV. Bulletin. A bulletin is a news report about very recent and important events. There was a live bulletin reporting on the economy of the city. Bump. A bump is a small raised area on a surface. The monkey got a bump on his head because he was hit by a rock. Chop. To chop something means to cut it into pieces with a tool. Mom chops some vegetables to put into the stew. Closet. A closet is a small room used to store things. Marie has many clothes inside of her closet. Console. To console is to give comfort to a person who feels sad. When my dog ran away, my dad consoled me. District. A district is a small part of a city, county, state, or country. I live in a residential district of Seattle, Washington. Drawer. A drawer is a small part in furniture that is used to store things. I put my clothes into the empty drawers. Endure. To endure means to experience and survive something difficult. She had to endure her husband shouting all day long. Execute. To execute means to kill someone as a legal punishment. Some people are executed for serious crimes. Grasp. To grasp something means to hold it. He grasped the bag of money tightly. Rear. The rear of something is the back part of that thing. The man loaded the rear of his truck with boxes. Senator. A senator is someone who makes laws for a state. The young senator promised to make laws that would help the people. Skull. A skull is the hard head bone that protects the brain. The brain is protected by the skull. Stir. To stir something means to mix it using something small, like a spoon. Mom stirred the batter until it was smooth. Tap. To tap something is to hit it lightly. He tapped the keys of the keyboard to write a short word. Tremendous. A tremendous thing is very large or very good. The Earth's oceans are filled with a tremendous amount of water. Underneath. Underneath means below or under. The roots of a tree are located underneath the ground. Worm. A worm is a small animal with a long, thin body. Worms are often used to help catch fish. The Senator and the Worm. A rich senator lived in a big house. He had more money than anyone in his district. 
One day, he was sitting on a chair listening to a radio broadcast. As he listened to the news bulletin, a worm crawled from underneath the chair and onto his head. His cook was in the kitchen stirring some spaghetti sauce. Suddenly, a cry from the senator alerted him. He ran to the rear of the house where the senator was sitting. The cook looked and saw the worm. He tried to console the senator. I'll take it off right away, he said. No, shouted the senator. I want you to kill it. But it's only a worm, the cook said. Why should we execute it? It hasn't committed a crime. The senator could not endure the worm on his head. Hurry, he shouted. The cook looked through several drawers but found nothing. Then he ran to the closet and took out a pipe. He returned to the senator and lifted the pipe over his head. He knew he couldn't just tap the worm. He was going to hit it hard. He grasped the pipe tightly. What are you waiting for? said the senator. Kill it! The cook swung the pipe at the senator's head. Oh no, the worm said. He's going to chop me in half. It jumped off the senator's head. There was a tremendous noise. Ow! cried the senator. A bump rose upon his skull. Meanwhile, the worm crawled outside. That was close, said the worm. Instead of being nice, he wanted to hurt me. Now that man has a big bump on his head. Unit 7 Word List Abandon To abandon something is to leave it forever or for a long time. The old room had been abandoned years before. Ambitious An ambitious person wants to be rich or successful. Kendra had to be ambitious to get into medical school. Bark To bark is to make a short, loud noise, like a dog. The dog barked loudly and frighteningly. Bay A bay is an area near the ocean where the land goes inward. The Golden Gate Bridge crosses San Francisco Bay. Brilliant A brilliant person is very bright or smart. My younger sister is brilliant for someone her age. Chin A chin is the hard part at the bottom of a person's face. Luke pointed to the hair on his chin. Complaint A complaint is an expression of unhappiness about something. Mom said she didn't want to hear my brother's complaints. Deaf A deaf person or animal cannot hear. Susan uses sign language because she is deaf. Enthusiastic An enthusiastic person is excited by or interested in something. The man was enthusiastic about his job. Expedition An expedition is a long trip, usually to a place very far away. They got into their spaceship to begin their expedition. Horizon The horizon is where the sky looks like it meets the ground. The sun dipped below the horizon. Loyal Loyal people always help or support a certain person or thing. The three friends are very loyal to each other. Mayor The mayor is the person in charge of a city. The mayor of my hometown is quite a powerful speaker. Mutual A mutual thing is felt in the same way by two or more people. Robert likes Sarah and she likes him. The feeling is mutual. Overweight Overweight people or animals are heavier than is healthy. Lisa eats too much, so now she is overweight. Refuge 
A refuge is a place of safety. When it started to rain, she found refuge in the house. Restore. To restore something is to put it back the way it was. Victor restored the old car. Rub. To rub something is to push on it and move your hand back and forth. Mom's feet were sore, so she rubbed them. Senses. The senses are how living things experience the world sight, taste, smell, hearing, and touch. It would be hard to live without your five senses. Veterinarian. A veterinarian is a doctor who takes care of animals. Wanda became a veterinarian because she loves dogs. Patsy Ann. A long time ago in Alaska, a dog named Patsy Ann watched the horizon. Every day, she waited by the bay for ships returning from an expedition. Patsy Ann was a brilliant dog, and she was very unique. She was deaf. She couldn't bark either. But she used all of her other senses to know when a ship was near. Patsy Ann lived on the streets. Her owners did not want her because she could not hear, so they abandoned her. She found refuge in a fancy hotel. Guests rubbed her back and scratched her chin. Many people gave her food. She became quite overweight. She became very famous. Visitors to Alaska were enthusiastic about meeting her. They brought presents for her. They liked seeing her, and the feeling was mutual. The mayor said Patsy Ann should be called the town's greeter. The people in town loved Patsy Ann too, even though she lived on the streets. They were willing to fight to keep her. A new law made all dogs wear a collar and get shots. The mayor received many complaints. People wanted Patsy Ann to be able to stay. One ambitious sailor got people to help. Together, they paid for Patsy Ann to go to the veterinarian. She got her shots and a collar. She could stay. When Patsy Ann died, everyone missed the town's loyal greeter. So the mayor hired someone to make a statue of Patsy Ann. He restored the town's greeter. Now, she stands near the water forever, waiting for ships to come home. Unit 8 Word List Anniversary An anniversary is a day that celebrates something from the past. My parents went out to a restaurant for their wedding anniversary. Arithmetic Arithmetic is math. I like to study arithmetic at school. Ashamed Ashamed means feeling upset and embarrassed because of a bad action. He was ashamed when he forgot his teacher's name. Burst. To burst is to suddenly break open or apart. The bomb burst over the city. Carpenter. A carpenter is a person who builds things with wood. We hired a carpenter to make a cupboard. Coal. Coal is a hard black material that people burn for heat. Many power stations burn coal to produce energy. Couch. A couch is a long, soft seat that many people can sit on. Kim and Martin's new couch was very expensive. Drip. To drip is to fall a little bit at a time. I heard water dripping from the faucet. Elegant. Something elegant is very fancy and pleasing. In Japan, women wear elegant kimonos on special occasions. Fabric. Fabric is cloth used to make clothes, furniture, etc. The towels were made from a soft fabric. Highlands. 
Highlands are high areas of land, usually with mountains. The man had a small home in the highlands. Ivory. Ivory is a hard white substance that comes from elephants. The elephant's long ivory tusks looked very impressive. Mill. A mill is a building in which wheat is ground into flour. The farmer took his wheat to the mill to make it into flour. Needle. A needle is a small, sharp piece of metal used to make or fix clothes. I used a needle to fix the hole in my pants. Polish. To polish something is to rub it in order to make it shiny. Mark spent all morning polishing his shoes for the wedding. Sew. To sew means to put pieces of cloth together using string or thread. I learned to sew when I was a little girl. Shed. A shed is a small building in which people store things like tools. We have a small shed in the backyard for storage. Thread. A thread is a thin piece of string. I have many different colors of thread at home. Trim. To trim something is to cut it a little bit. I had my hair trimmed this afternoon. Upwards. An upwards action moves vertically towards the direction above. The kite went upwards further and further. The anniversary gift. Joe was a carpenter. He built houses in the Highlands. Joe's wife Stella used a needle and thread to sew elegant clothing. She only used beautiful fabric to make clothes. Since they didn't have a lot of money, they lived in an old shed. Water dripped in when it rained. They had broken chairs instead of a couch, but they had coal for heat and flour from the mill for bread. Together, they trimmed the bushes to make their house look nice. Joe and Stella were poor, but not ashamed. They were happy. Sometimes in the evening they walked downtown. They looked in store windows and dreamed. Stella wanted a hairbrush with an ivory handle. She pulled her hair upwards every day because she didn't have a brush to make it nice. Joe wanted to fix his grandfather's watch. For their anniversary, Stella wanted to get Joe what he wanted. But then she did the arithmetic. It would take at least six months to save enough money. Then she had an idea. She cut off all of her hair and sold it. Meanwhile, Joe knew that he could never fix his watch, so he polished it and sold it. He made enough to buy the brush. On their anniversary, the door burst open. Joe was excited to give Stella his gift, but first. Stella gave him the money to fix the watch. When he saw his wife without any hair, he smiled. "I sold my watch to buy you something," Joe said. He gave her the brush, and she laughed. They were both willing to give up something very special to make each other happy. Unit nine. Word list. Ally. An ally is someone who agrees to help or support another person or group. I was happy to find many allies who shared my opinion. Boast. To boast is to talk about how great one is. We all became tired of listening to him boast about himself all day. Bounce. To bounce is to move up and away from a surface after hitting it. Owen bounced the ball on the ground. Bully. A bully is a person who is mean to others. The two bullies always picked on the smaller, weaker kids. Carbohydrate. 
Carbohydrates are substances in foods like bread that give energy. Carbohydrates like rice are a good source of energy for active people. Crawl. To crawl is to move slowly on hands and knees. The baby crawled across the floor. Defeat. To defeat someone is to beat that person in a game or battle. The champion defeated the challenger in the boxing match. Dial. A dial is a circular tool, like the front of a clock. I looked at the dial to see what time it was. Dominant. A dominant person or thing is stronger than others. The gorilla is one of the dominant animals in the jungle. Entire. Entire means the whole thing or group. The entire table was covered with food. Mercy. Mercy is a feeling or act of kindness. He asked his boss for mercy and to not fire him. Nod. To nod is to move your head up and down. I nodded my head as I listened to the song. Opponent. An opponent is a person or group trying to defeat another person or group. On the field, our opponents were too good for us. Quarrel. To quarrel is to argue or fight. Billy quarreled with his wife about buying a new house. Rival. A rival is someone trying to achieve the same thing as another. The three rivals were all competing for the same job. Sore. Sore means feeling or causing pain. After lifting the heavy box, Mona's back was sore. Sting. To sting is to cause pain by pushing a sharp part into the skin. The needle stung my arm and made me say, "Ouch." Strain. To strain is to try very hard. Casey strained to lift the heavy box. Torture. Torture is action that causes physical or mental pain. Greg thought that writing the essay was torture. Wrestle. To wrestle is to try to push another competitor to the floor. My dad loved to wrestle when he was in high school. Dalton versus the bully. Dalton was a nice boy, but sometimes the other boys made fun of him because he was so tall and skinny. Dalton's biggest problem was Mitch. He was a bully who boasted about his strength. He quarreled with the other boys. Sometimes, if boys gave Mitch their lunch money, he would have mercy and leave them alone. One day, the boys learned about a special middle school Olympics. Their gym class was going to be in it. Many kids were excited, but Dalton thought it sounded like torture. That morning, Dalton ate plenty of carbohydrates for breakfast. He entered the gym and looked at the dial on the clock. It was time to begin. The teacher asked if they were ready. Everyone nodded except Dalton. "I got stung by a bee. I need to see the nurse," said Dalton. He made this story up so he wouldn't have to play. "I don't believe you. Get ready to play," responded the coach. First they wrestled, then they jumped, crawled, and played other games. But Mitch was dominant in every event. They strained all morning to defeat him. By lunch, the entire team were sore, but they thought they knew how to win. They knew the last game of the day was volleyball. Kids who used to be Dalton's rivals became his allies. They wanted him to help them beat Mitch. Dalton was going to be Mitch's opponent. The game started. Every time Mitch tried to hit the ball over the net, Dalton stopped it. Finally, Mitch used all of his strength. 
but the ball bounced off Dalton's hands and back into Mitch's face. Finally, Mitch was defeated. Unit 10 Word List Absence Absence is the state of something being away. There is an absence of sand in the hourglass. Allowed An action done aloud is done so that people can hear it. My father often reads stories aloud to me and my sister. Bald A bald person or animal has no hair. My oldest brother is bald. Blanket A blanket is a piece of cloth that people use to keep warm or to sit upon. I laid a blanket on the ground so that we could have a picnic. Creep To creep is to move quietly and slowly. The cat slowly crept down the tree. Divorce Divorce is the process of ending a marriage. Divorce rates have increased in the past 20 years. Imitate To imitate someone or something is to act in the exact same way. He imitated his favorite superhero by putting on a costume. Infant An infant is a baby. The infant cried all night. Kidnap To kidnap someone is to take that person illegally. She was terrified to find out her son had been kidnapped. Nap A nap is a short sleep, usually during the day. I took a short nap because I had stayed up late last night. Nowhere Nowhere means no place or not existing. Unfortunately, water was nowhere to be found. Pat To pat something is to hit it softly with your hand. I patted some lotion onto my face. Relief Relief is a good feeling after something bad or challenging ends. I felt a sense of relief when I heard the good news. Reproduce To reproduce is to make something exactly how someone else did it. The children tried to reproduce their house using toy blocks. Rhyme A rhyme is writing or speech that has words with the same ending sounds. Humpty Dumpty is an old rhyme that children learn in school. Suck To suck is to put something in your mouth and try to get something out of it. The baby sucked milk from her bottle. Urgent An urgent thing is important and needs to be done now. He had to leave at that moment. It was urgent. Vanish To vanish is to go away suddenly. All the passengers vanished from the train station. Wagon A wagon is a cart used to carry heavy things. He used his wagon to carry some of his gifts. Wrinkle A wrinkle is a line on a person's face that appears as they get old. My grandfather has some wrinkles on his face. Anna, the babysitter Since her parents got a divorce, Anna has had to help her mother. In her mother's absence, Anna takes care of Grace, the baby. At first, Anna thought it was an easy job. One afternoon, Anna played with Grace. She meowed like a cat, and Grace imitated her. In fact, Grace reproduced every sound that Anna made. Anna then took her sister outside. She put Grace in the wagon, but there was nowhere for them to go. So they went back inside. Anna put the infant on the floor and went into her room. But when she came back, 
Grace had vanished. Anna looked everywhere, but she could not find her sister. Maybe the baby had been kidnapped. Where are you? Anna called aloud. The situation was becoming urgent. She wanted to call her mom, but she didn't want her to think Anna couldn't do the job. Anna sat down. What was she going to do? But then Anna heard something. It was coming from her room. Grace? She got down on her knees and looked under the bed. She could see Grace's bald head. Grace had followed Anna into her room and crept under the bed. What a relief! Anna cried. She picked up her sister and patted her on the head. Her head was soft and had no wrinkles. Grace was sucking on her thumb and looked tired. So Anna wrapped her in a blanket and sang rhymes for her. Then she put Grace in bed for a nap. After that afternoon, Anna knew that taking care of Grace was not an easy job. It is a lot of work to take care of a baby. Unit 11 Word List Architecture Architecture is the design and form of a building. The Sydney Opera House is a good example of modern architecture. Basket A basket is a container made of woven materials that is used to carry things. He put the vegetables in a basket. Bloom To bloom is to produce an open flower. The white daisies were about to bloom. Canoe A canoe is a long, light boat with pointed ends. He paddled his canoe to the edge of the lake. Carpet A carpet is a thick, heavy, woven fabric used to cover the floor. His white living room carpet was soft. Cousin A cousin is the child of one's aunt and uncle. My cousin looks just like me. Desk a desk is a piece of furniture that people sit at to do work. She put the books on her desk. Gallery A gallery is a large space where people can see works of art. The art gallery displayed beautiful paintings. Guest A guest is someone who is invited to an event, occasion, or location. Alice invited a special guest for dinner. Host A host is someone who invites a guest someplace. He was a gracious host. July The seventh month of the year is July. Her birthday is in July. Modern A modern thing belongs to the current time. The kitchen had a modern look. Museum A museum is a building that displays cultural, social, and scientific objects. The Louvre is a famous museum in France. Pink Pink is a pale shade of red. She chose a pink lipstick. Plain a plane is a vehicle that has an engine and wings and flies in the air. They took a plane across the ocean to India. Refrigerator A refrigerator is a large electrical machine used to keep food cold. He kept milk, eggs, and butter in the refrigerator. Temperature a temperature is a measure of how hot or cold something is. In the winter, the temperature can drop below zero degrees. Theater A theater is a place where people can watch movies or live shows. He took her to see a comedy show at the theater. Upper An upper position is a higher position. He took the elevator to the upper floor. 
Welcome. To welcome is to greet someone or something with pleasure. She greeted her friends with a warm welcome. July 28, 2017. Dear Diary, I am beyond excited. My cousin Ella is coming all the way from England for a visit. We haven't seen each other for many years. Ella's plane will land soon, and I want to be a gracious host and get everything ready to welcome my special guest from abroad. The warm temperature in July is just right. Earlier today, I opened the window to let in fresh air and looked outside. The afternoon sky was a brilliant blue, the grass was a fresh emerald green, and the pink roses were in full bloom. It was a stunning display of natural beauty. Ella is coming at the perfect time. I still have to finish cleaning up and then vacuum the carpet. I have already stocked the refrigerator with Ella's favorite foods. Last night, I set out clean towels and arranged the guest bedroom for Ella. I will set out toiletries and other things soon. I want to go over the activity list for Ella's visit one last time. I made sure to keep a copy of the list on my desk and also on my computer. I meticulously planned the details for each day so that they are productive and packed with fun filled activities. I know that Ella loves history, so we will visit the museum on Monday, where there is a special show about architecture in modern cities. We will go to the art gallery on Tuesday and see the latest works of contemporary art. I also want to take Ella to the upper part of town because that is where the best shopping and sales are. Then we'll watch Hamlet, a Shakespearean play being performed at the local drama theater. I also want to take Ella on a canoe ride and enjoy the many lakes around the city. We can pack a picnic basket, have lunch at the lake, and enjoy the beautiful weather outside. I am really excited about it because I've never been on a canoe ride. There are so many sightseeing opportunities and so much to show Ella, but I also want to spend time at home with Ella so we can both relax and catch up. I'd better run because it's almost time to pick up Ella at the airport. I can't wait to see Ella. Love, Gemma. Unit 12. Word list. Anticipate. To anticipate something is to think that it will happen. Carrie anticipated the arrival of her baby. Barrel. A barrel is a round thing that you can keep liquids in. There was an empty barrel outside the house. Beam. A beam is a heavy bar. Modern skyscrapers are made with many beams. Casual. A casual thing is relaxed or simple. You can wear casual clothes, like jeans, to the party. Caution. Caution is care and attention in order to avoid danger. Please use the power saw with caution. It is very dangerous. Contrary. A contrary thing is the opposite to another thing. It isn't warm outside at all. On the contrary, it is quite cold. Deliberate. A deliberate action is one done on purpose, not by accident. Bernie made a deliberate attempt to injure Andy. Dissolve. To dissolve something is to mix it into a liquid until it disappears. I dissolved the pill in a glass of water. Explode. To explode is to suddenly move apart in many smaller pieces. The old TV exploded when I plugged it in. Fasten. To fasten something is to close it or attach it to something. Elizabeth fastened her seatbelt. Germ. 
A germ is a very small living thing that can make people sick. Germs are on everything that you touch. Kit. A kit is a set of all the things needed to do something. Is there a first aid kit in your office? Puff. A puff is a little bit of smoke or steam. A puff of smoke came from the burnt match. Rag. A rag is a small towel. Please use a rag to clean the dust off the table. Scatter. To scatter something is to make it go in many places. I accidentally scattered all of my pills. Scent. A scent is a smell. Julie enjoyed the scent of the flowers. Steel. Steel is a strong gray metal. The new apartment building was made with steel. Swift. A swift person or animal is fast. The swift horse easily jumped over the hurdle. Toss. To toss something is to throw it softly. He tossed a coin into the air. Triumph. Triumph is the act or feeling of winning. He raised the award in triumph at the end of his speech. The ice cream cone explosion. One day, John walked to his uncle's ice cream shop. When he reached the sidewalk near the shop, he caught the scent of ice cream cones and anticipated eating some ice cream. Sam opened the door. Uncle John had a new steel machine. What is that? It's a cone maker. I built it from a kit. You take flour from the barrel and put it in this pan, Uncle John said. Then add water and sugar here and stir it so the sugar dissolves. Next, you fasten down the beam. Uncle John wanted to look casual, but he was excited. He made a few swift movements and turned it on. There was a puff of smoke, and then cones came out the other end. Is it hard to use? Sam asked. On the contrary, it's easy to use. Want to try? Sam washed his hands with caution. He made a deliberate attempt to keep germs out of the dough. Soon, Sam had his first cone. He smiled in triumph. Uncle John tried to turn the machine off, but it kept making cones. Sam and Uncle John put them on the counter, then on chairs. Before long, cones were scattered all over the floor. They tried everything to stop it, but it wouldn't stop. What are we going to do? He said. Kick it! Yelled Sam. Uncle John lifted his foot and gave the machine a kick. It made a funny noise and exploded. They were both covered with dough. Uncle John laughed when he knew Sam was okay. He tossed Sam a rag to clean his face and smiled. I guess we have enough cones now. Unit thirteen. Word list. Aboard. Someone aboard a ship or plane is in or on it. They climbed aboard the kayak and paddled through the river. Bitter. A bitter person feels upset or angry about something. He was extremely bitter when his computer crashed. Bullet. A bullet is a small metal object that is shot out of a gun. Bullets come in different sizes for different guns. Devil. The devil is a powerful evil spirit in some religions. The church promised protection from the devil. Drift. To drift means to be moved slowly by wind or water. The large chunk of ice drifted in the water. Enforce. 
To enforce means to make a person follow a rule. Police enforce traffic laws to keep everyone safe. Fountain. A fountain is a source of water made by people. There was a beautiful fountain in the middle of the park. Harbor. A harbor is an area of water along a shore where boats land. There were a few small boats in the harbor. Inhabit. To inhabit means to live in a certain place. No one inhabits the ancient city. March. To march means to walk at a steady pace together with others. The soldiers marched in straight rows. Millionaire. A millionaire is a person who has at least a million dollars. He became a millionaire because he was smart with his money. Port. A port is a place where ships stop to load and unload things. The ship was being loaded with materials at the port. Sheriff. A sheriff is a police officer who is in charge of a large area. It was the sheriff's job to make the city safe. Startle. To startle means to scare someone suddenly. The loud crash startled the sleeping woman. Sweat. To sweat means to lose liquid from the body through the skin. Whenever I go to the gym, I sweat quite a bit. Trigger. A trigger is the part of a gun that a person pulls to make it fire. The man had his finger on the trigger of the gun. Unify. To unify means to bring people or things together. With their good deeds, the children tried to unify the world. Vessel. A vessel is a large ship or boat. We toured the area aboard a luxury vessel. Voyage. A voyage is a long journey made on a boat or an aircraft. The astronauts took off on a long voyage to the moon. Worship. To worship means to like and honor a person, thing, or religious figure. Many people around the world worship in a church. Sheriff Dan. Dan was the evil sheriff of Ocean Town. Dan was as cruel as the devil. He worshipped money. Dan was a millionaire, but he paid his police officers almost nothing. The police were very bitter, but Dan didn't care. He only cared about his money. Every person who inhabited Ocean Town disliked him. Dan enforced cruel laws. Once, Dan even put his own brother in jail for throwing a coin into a fountain. Sometimes he pointed his gun into the air and pulled the trigger. He didn't want the bullets to hit anyone. He just wanted to scare people with the loud sound. Finally, the people of Ocean Town decided that they had to get rid of Sheriff Dan and tried to find some way to do this. Their wish to get rid of Dan helped to unify the town. They marched to Dan's house. He was startled by the sight when he ran to the door. When he opened the door, the crowd jumped on him. They used a rope to tie him to a chair. Dan yelled, "Get your hands off me! I'll put you all in jail for the rest of your lives!" The crowd didn't listen. They carried Dan to the harbor and put him aboard a vessel. Dan was so scared that he began to sweat. He begged, "If you let me go, I will give you all my money." The crowd said, "Sheriff, we don't care about your money. We know you'll never change. We're sending you on a voyage to the middle of the ocean." The boat drifted out of the port, and Dan was never seen again. The people chose a new sheriff who was kind and fair. Unit fourteen. Word list. 
Apprentice. An apprentice is a person who learns how to do a job from a skilled person. Mark is an apprentice chef at the restaurant. Assure. To assure people is to tell them something is true to make them less worried. He assured the boss that the building would be done on time. Bandage. A bandage is a piece of cloth used to stop bleeding. If you cut yourself, please get a bandage from the first aid kit. Bleed. To bleed is to lose blood. If you are not careful, you will cut your finger and bleed. Bond. To bond with someone is to become friends with that person. The women bonded after several hours of conversation. Chef. A chef is a person who cooks in a restaurant. Tom is a chef at the restaurant near my house. Crown. A crown is the hat worn by a king or queen. The crown is made of gold. Departure. A departure is the act of leaving a place. They were excited about their departure to go back home. Diligent. A diligent person works hard and is careful. Craig has always been a very diligent person at work. Emperor. An emperor is the leader of a group of countries. The emperor Julius Caesar was in control of ancient Rome. Fiber. A fiber is a thread of a substance used to make clothes or rope. The mat was made from tiny fibers. Horrible. A horrible thing is very bad. The assignment was horrible. I hated it. Impolite. An impolite person is rude or not polite. Roger is impolite to everyone he meets. Kneel. To kneel is to put one or both knees on the ground. Daryl kneeled down on one knee and asked Nina to marry him. Luxury. A luxury is an expensive thing that is nice but not needed. Our honeymoon resort was a luxury we really enjoyed. Massive. A massive thing is very big. The wheels on his truck were massive. Panic. To panic is to feel so nervous or afraid that one cannot think clearly. Everyone panicked when the house caught on fire. Priority. A priority is something that is more important than other things. My priority is to get good grades in school. Robe. A robe is a long, loose piece of clothing. The monks at the temple all wear robes. Scold. To scold means to criticize someone angrily for doing something wrong. Jesse was scolded by the teacher for not paying attention. The Helpful Apprentice. There was once a small restaurant. People said that the best chef in the world worked there. But the chef was a horrible person to work for. He was impolite and scolded his workers all the time. The chef had a young apprentice. The apprentice's first priority was to make the best food in the world. He was happy to have a good teacher, but he didn't like the chef. The boy was a diligent worker, but the chef scolded him more than anyone else. Then one day, the chef got great news. The emperor wanted to have dinner there that night. He was very excited. He was working very fast, and he made a mistake. He cut his hand with a knife, and it started to bleed. The apprentice gave him a bandage, but the chef still couldn't cook. The chef started to panic. The apprentice tried to assure him. Everything will be okay, 
he said, but the chef was still afraid. Then they started to work together. They began to bond. The chef told the apprentice what to do, and the boy cooked a great meal. As soon as they finished, the emperor arrived. He wore a beautiful robe made of soft fibers. He also had a massive crown. Everyone in the restaurant kneeled when the emperor came in. The chef and the boy brought out his food. The emperor was used to luxuries. Would he like the food? The emperor loved the food. After his departure, the chef was very proud and very thankful to his new friend, the apprentice. Unit 15 Word List Affair An affair is an event or a thing that happened. My wife and I attended a formal affair over the weekend. Assembly An assembly is a group gathered together for the same reason. The students had an assembly to talk about their interests. Bless To bless is to ask God for protection or help. The angel blessed the newborn baby to keep it safe. Cereal Cereal is a breakfast food made from grains that is eaten with milk. Cereal is a fast and common breakfast food enjoyed in the U.S. Cheerful A cheerful person is happy and pleasant. The children were cheerful because they didn't have to go to school. Diameter The diameter of a round thing is the length across its center. The diameter of the tree was about 60 centimeters. Exploit To exploit something is to use it for greedy reasons rather than good reasons. The company exploits their workers and makes them work 12 hours a day. Famine A famine is a long time with little or no food. The farmers couldn't grow any food in the dry soil, so there was a famine. Harvest A harvest is the act of collecting food from farming. They had a lot of wheat from the last harvest. Merry A merry person is happy and pleasant. They felt merry because the weather was great. Nut a nut is a hard seed or fruit that comes from some trees and bushes. To eat a nut, you must first crack its shell. Pardon To pardon is to not be angry at someone for asking a question or for making a mistake. Pardon me, teacher, but could you repeat what you just said? Pharaoh A pharaoh was a king in ancient Egypt. The pharaohs ruled Egypt for thousands of years. Ripe A ripe fruit or vegetable is ready to be eaten. The cherries were nice and ripe. Roast To roast something is to cook it in an oven or over a fire. Mom roasted a turkey for the holiday dinner. Routine a routine is a way of doing things that is the same every time. My father's daily routine includes shaving right before breakfast. Scheme A scheme is a plan or design. Jason and Mark came up with a scheme to solve the problem. Slim A slim person or thing is thin, not thick. Look at my new cell phone. It's very slim. Stove A stove is a device used to cook food. Our new stove helps us to cook food much faster than before. Theft A theft is a criminal act that involves someone stealing something. The theft of his TV took place when he was at work.
Why Monkey Has No Home For five years, there was a famine. The farmers asked people to bless them, and finally they had a good harvest. Since there was now plenty of food, the pharaoh decided to have a party. The party was a happy affair. For five days, they had a huge feast. Monkey was very happy. Because of the famine, he was very slim. He wanted to eat a lot of food. When he arrived at the feast, hundreds of long tables were filled with food. There were nuts, bowls of cereal, and ripe fruit. He could also smell hot roasted meat cooking on the stove. The assembly of animals was merry. However, during the meal, Monkey thought of a scheme to exploit the pharaoh's kindness. He decided to steal some of the food and then eat it at home. All the animals were cheerful. They didn't notice that Monkey was hiding food. After the feast, Monkey took the food to his house and ate it. He repeated this routine every day for four days. But on the fifth day, the pharaoh had a surprise. He was going to give all the animals a home. Monkey was very excited. But when he arrived at the pharaoh's home, he could not get through the door. The diameter of his waist was wider than the door. He was too fat. Monkey asked the pharaoh to forgive him for his theft. But the pharaoh said no. Pardon? asked the monkey. He didn't understand why the pharaoh was being unkind. Everybody else will have a home now, but not you. Now you know that greed gets you nothing, explained the pharaoh. Unit 16 Word List Adolescent an adolescent is a young person or a teenager. The adolescent was excited about getting a skateboard for his birthday. Aptitude. Aptitude is a natural ability or skill. He has a natural aptitude for water skiing. Compliment. To compliment is to say a nice thing about someone or something. Her coworker complimented her for doing a good job. Hinder. To hinder is to stop someone or something from doing something. All the traffic hindered me from getting to work on time. Journalism. Journalism is the work of collecting the news to put in newspapers or on TV. Before becoming a teacher, she worked in journalism. Jury. A jury is a group of people that listen to a trial and say if someone is guilty. The jury listened closely to the attorney before they made their decision. Justice. Justice is fairness in the way that people are treated. People turn to the court system when they are seeking justice. Liberty. Liberty is freedom to do what one wants. To many people, the Statue of Liberty is a symbol of freedom. Literary A literary person or thing is involved with literature in some way. He worked hard to create a successful literary career. Pharmacy A pharmacy is a place where medicine is sold. My mother sells medicine to people at the pharmacy. Pill a pill is a small object that has medicine inside. She took a pill for her headache. Presume. To presume is to believe something is true without being certain. Since the girl raised her hand, the teacher presumed she knew the answer. Privacy. Privacy is the state of being happily away from other people. Please hang the sign on the door so we can have some privacy. Punishment A punishment is something that one must endure for any wrongdoing. He was given a punishment for being rude to the teacher.
Sensible. A sensible person or thing is good and smart. It was sensible for her to save some money each month. Slice. A slice is a piece from something larger, such as a cake. The girl enjoyed a slice of cake at her birthday party. Sorrow. Sorrow is a very sad feeling. The girl felt sorrow after her best friend moved away. Straw. A straw is a thin tube that is used to suck liquid into the mouth. I drank the orange juice through a straw. Swell. To swell is to become larger and rounder. My sister's stomach began to swell after she got pregnant. Tidy. A tidy place or person is clean and in order. Leon has always been a very tidy boy. Matthew learns a lesson. Matthew was an adolescent and a sensible boy. He always kept his room tidy and had a natural literary aptitude. He hoped to one day have a career in journalism. He spent much of his time reading and liked his privacy, but his quiet personality hindered his ability to make friends. One day, Matthew went to the pharmacy to pick up some pills for his grandmother. He saw some boys leaning against a tree outside. One of the boys complimented Matthew. I like your jacket. Another boy asked, Do you want to go to Nate's restaurant? Sure, Matthew said. The boys walked to the restaurant. They were going to have slices of pizza. They ordered their food and drank soda with straws. They ate until their bellies swelled up. Matthew was having so much fun. One of the boys said, Let's leave without paying. Matthew didn't want to, but he presumed his new friends wouldn't like him if he didn't. Suddenly, the waiter yelled, Stop! The two other boys ran, leaving Matthew there alone. Soon, the police arrived. Leaving without paying for your meal is the same as stealing, said the police officer. The restaurant wants justice, so next week you have to go to court and let a jury decide your punishment. When he went to court, the judge asked, Do you have anything to say, Matthew? He said, I am full of sorrow for what I've done. Now I know that real friends won't ask you to do something illegal. The jury then let him have his liberty, but they made Matthew pick up garbage as a punishment. Much to Matthew's surprise, he ended up meeting some new friends. Unit 17 Word List Affection Affection is a feeling of liking someone or something. Amanda has a lot of affection for her little sister, Sarah. Agency An agency is a business or service set up to act for others. I went to a travel agency to help me arrange a flight home. Ash Ash is the gray or black powder created when something is burned. The end of his cigar was full of ashes. Confine To confine something is to keep it in one place. The elephant is confined to a cage in the zoo. Dismiss To dismiss something is to say it is not important. He quickly dismissed my idea about the new project. Erupt To erupt is to explode or blow apart, especially a volcano. The volcano erupted for the first time in ten years. Fate Fate is a power that causes things to happen. Some people believe that the lines on a person's hand can tell his or her fate. Lava 
Lava is the hot substance made of melted rock that comes out of volcanoes. The red hot lava poured from the volcano. Miserable. A miserable person is very unhappy. He was miserable after his dog died. Navigate. To navigate something is to control the way it moves or goes. She navigated the ship across the ocean. Originate. To originate somewhere is to start there. The idea of democracy originated in ancient Greece. Remainder. The remainder of something is what is left. He took a bite of the apple and then gave me the remainder of it. Retrieve. To retrieve something is to find it and get it back. She retrieved her mail from the mailbox. Shallow. A shallow thing is not deep. The kids were playing in the shallow water. Slope. A slope is ground that is not flat. The slope to the top of the mountain was very steep. Span. To span is to spread across an amount of time or space. His work at the bakery has spanned twenty years. Superstition. A superstition is something magical that people believe is real. It is a superstition that Friday the thirteenth is an unlucky day. Sympathy. Sympathy is a feeling of sadness for another person who feels bad. I felt sympathy for my sister, so I got her a balloon to cheer her up. Vibrate. To vibrate is to shake very hard. The machine made his whole body vibrate as he broke up the ground. Wander. To wander is to walk without going to a certain place. The boys like to wander in the woods and look at birds. The magic cup. Paul and John were brothers. They fought all the time because they both wanted to be leaders of the agency they both worked at. There was a superstition in their town about a magic cup. People said the cup was in a volcano located far away. Anyone who retrieved the cup would have a wish come true. John and Paul both wanted to find it. Then they could become the leader. They both left to find the cup. Before their trip, their mother said they should work together. They dismissed that idea. Even though their trips originated from the same house, each wanted to travel alone. They were both miserable during the trip. They had to navigate small boats across shallow rivers and climb difficult slopes. Their journey spanned many days. When they finally got close to the volcano, the ground began to vibrate and the volcano erupted. Ash filled the sky and lava covered everything. John climbed to the top of a hill to keep from getting burned. A few moments later, his brother went up the same hill. They were confined to the hill until the lava cooled down. They talked about the things they had seen while wandering around the country. They felt more sympathy and affection for each other than ever before. They decided that fate had brought them together. The next day. They left to finish the remainder of the trip together. Everything seemed much easier. When they finally found the cup, they learned that it didn't make wishes come true. It was only an ordinary cup. But the trip to reach the cup taught them to work together and love each other. Unit eighteen. Word list. Armor. Armor is metal worn by soldiers to protect the body. The soldier wore armor to protect his body. Blaze. To blaze means to burn brightly or powerfully.
The small fire soon blazed into a large, dangerous one. Boom. To boom means to make a loud, deep sound. The firecrackers made a loud boom when they exploded. Cliff. A cliff is a high and often flat wall of rock. The wolf stood at the cliff and howled. Flame. A flame is part of a fire. The torch was filled with yellow and orange flames. Independence. Independence is the state of being free from the control of others. After leaving home, Sophia had a great feeling of independence. Invasion. An invasion is an attack by a group from another country. In Korea, walls were built around cities to protect them from invasions. Knight. A knight is a soldier of high rank and skill who usually serves a king. He was the best soldier, so the king made him a knight. Lightning. Lightning is the bright light seen during a storm. The lightning flashed above the water. Rebel. A rebel is a person who fights the government in order to change it. The rebel was angry about the government's unfair policies. Retreat. To retreat means to run away because of losing a fight. The army retreated because they were losing the battle. Revolution. A revolution is a change to the political system by a group of people. The revolution in Russia led to the creation of the Soviet Union. Spear. A spear is a long stick with a blade on one end that is used as a weapon. The soldier was holding a spear in his hand. Steep. A steep surface or place has a slope or angle that rises or falls sharply. He rode his bike up the steep hill to reach the top. Summit. A summit is the highest part of a hill or mountain. Snow covered the summit of the mountain even during the summer. Thunder. Thunder is the loud noise heard during a storm. The sound of the thunder startled me. Troops. Troops are soldiers that fight in groups in a battle. The troops were all prepared to go into battle. Warrior. A warrior is a brave soldier or fighter. The samurai were some of the most skilled warriors in the ancient world. Withdraw. To withdraw means to leave a place, usually during war. After losing the battle, the enemy withdrew back to its own country. Yield. To yield something means to give up control of it. Or to give it away. He had to yield his turn because he was in checkmate. The Knight's Plan. A town was fighting for their independence from another country. Several rebels started a revolution. However, they were afraid of an invasion from a lot of troops. They didn't have enough warriors to stop the enemy. So they asked a knight for help. The knight made a plan. A tall mountain was outside the town. The road near the top was very narrow. Cliffs rose on both sides of it. We must trick the enemy. They have to follow us up the mountain, the knight explained. On the narrow path, only a few can attack us at one time. The people agreed with the knight's plan. The knight put on his armor, and the warriors got their spears. When the enemy attacked, the knight and warriors acted as if they were afraid. They quickly withdrew toward the mountain. The enemy troops followed them up the steep path. Soon, the enemy became tired. At the summit, the knight and his troops stopped. The enemy was close behind them, 
but now they were tired. Also, only a few could attack, because the path was narrow. The knight and the warriors fought the enemy, but there were too many troops. The knight was afraid. If the warriors yielded the path to the enemy, the town would be lost. A storm suddenly came over the mountain. There was strong wind and rain. Thunder boomed. Lightning struck some trees near the enemy. The trees blazed. The flames scared the enemy, and they retreated. They ran down the mountain, out of the town, and never returned. The knight explained, With a little luck, a good plan beats even a big army. Unit 19 Word List Bench A bench is a long seat for two or more people. Most parks have benches for people to relax upon. Daisy A daisy is a small flower with white petals and a yellow center. There were a few daisies growing in the field. Dispute a dispute is an argument or disagreement that people have. Karen and Brian often have disputes about silly things. Empty An empty container is one that has no things in it. The teacher showed the students an empty bottle. Horror Horror is a feeling of being very afraid or shocked. The audience screamed in horror when the ghost appeared in the movie. Incident An incident is an event that is usually not pleasant. Mr. Wilson had an incident. He became sick and had to leave. Mist Mist is water that can be seen in the air or on a surface. The forest was covered with mist. Object. An object is a non-living thing that you can see or touch. The shopping cart was filled with objects. Orphan. An orphan is a child who does not have parents. The orphan frequently cried during the night. Plot. To plot is to make a secret plan to do something that is wrong or mean. The group was plotting to ruin the company's financial reports. Pregnant A pregnant woman or animal is going to have a baby. The pregnant woman was shopping for baby clothes. Rage Rage is a very angry feeling. The chef was filled with rage when his helpers ruined the meal. Revenge Revenge is the act of hurting someone who has hurt you. He broke his sister's doll as revenge after she lost his favorite book. Shame Shame is a bad feeling about things one has done wrong. The boy felt shame about misplacing his clothes. Sigh To sigh is to breathe out loudly to show tiredness, boredom, or sadness. Molly sighed when she looked at all the information she had to research. Sneak To sneak is to move quietly in order not to be seen or heard. The thief snuck out of the house without anyone noticing him. Spare To spare something is to give it away because it is not needed. I wanted to help him, but I couldn't spare a tire. Stem. The stem of a plant is the stick that grows leaves or flowers. The rose had a long, thin stem. Supper. Supper is a meal that is eaten in the evening. We usually have supper around 6 o'clock at my house. Tender. A tender food is soft and easy to chew. The meat was so tender, they didn't need knives to cut it. 
The Magic Pear Tree. It was a cool morning, and the grass was covered in mist. The market was full of people. A mean farmer named Jack yelled, "Pears for sale!" He sat on a bench, plotting how he could trick people. Then an orphan came to his cart. "Can you spare a pear?" she asked. Jack felt rage. He replied, "You don't have any money." Please, I haven't had supper in days. No, shouted the farmer. The orphan sighed. However, a pregnant lady heard the dispute and came over to Jack. Just give her a pear, she said. Jack had no shame and said no. Finally, a man bought a pear for the girl. The girl quickly ate it, but she saved the seed. She wanted to get revenge. She told Jack, "I know a way to get hundreds of pears in one day. I'll show you how." He watched the girl dig a hole. She dropped the seed into the ground. Then she spread the dirt over it. "Watch closely," she said. "In a few minutes, a stem will grow. It'll turn into a tree that's full of pears." Jack stared at the dirt, but nothing happened. The only objects there were a few daisies. He looked for the girl, but she had snuck away. Then he looked at his cart in horror. It was empty. He suddenly realized that the orphan had tricked him. While Jack was waiting for the tree to grow, the people had taken the pears from his cart. They all laughed while they were eating the tender fruit. The farmer felt ashamed. The incident taught him to be kinder. Unit twenty. Word list. Beneath. Beneath means under or lower than. The largest part of an iceberg lies beneath the water line. Cub. A cub is a baby animal. Such as a bear or lion. The lion cub was crying for its mother. Dawn. Dawn is the time of day when the sun rises. At dawn, the sun gently rose over the farm. Dissatisfied. Dissatisfied means not happy with something. I was dissatisfied with their decision to work on Sunday. Ease. Ease is a condition without difficulty or hard work. The monkey climbed the tree with ease. Evident. Evident means easy to see or understand. It was evident from the look on his face that he was unhappy. Hail. Hail is ice that falls from the sky when rain freezes. The hail from the storm was the size of golf balls. Howl. To howl means to make a long, loud sound, like a wolf or a dog. The wolf howled at the moon. Leap. To leap means to jump a long distance. He had to leap over the gap to reach the other side of the hill. Magnificent. Magnificent means beautiful and grand. The man gave his wife a pair of magnificent diamond earrings. Necessity. A necessity is something that is needed. Fresh water is a necessity for life. Outcome. An outcome is the end result of an action or event. The outcome of his latest business plan was a complete failure. Pile. A pile is a large group of things on top of one another. The pile of cups was beginning to lean. Profound. Profound means deep or very intelligent. For a young man, Jeremy has some profound thoughts. Seize. To seize something means to grab it quickly or strongly. The man seized as much money as he could before anyone could see him. 
Squeeze. To squeeze something means to press it together and hold it tightly. When Clara saw her cat, she squeezed it to her face. Supreme. Supreme means of the highest level or best quality. The supreme officer was in charge of keeping the citizens calm. Terrific. Something terrific is very good. My youngest daughter is a terrific painter. Trait. A trait is part of someone's personality. One trait of Salvador's personality is his cheerfulness. Vital. Something vital is necessary for life. The heart is a vital organ. Little Wolf and Mother Wolf. Mother Wolf was a magnificent animal. She had all the traits of a terrific hunter. She was very strong and fast. She knew how to hide and how to seize animals. Mother Wolf was the forest's supreme creature. Her skills were evident to all the other animals. Mother Wolf lived in a den beneath a tree with her cub. Little Wolf. One morning at dawn, Little Wolf and Mother Wolf were eating breakfast. Little Wolf looked sad. Mother Wolf said, "What is wrong, my cub?" Little Wolf said, "I want to be big like you. You can run and leap better than anyone. You can howl so loudly. Being big is a necessity, and I am so small." Mother Wolf said. Don't be dissatisfied with your size. Being small can be very helpful sometimes. Just then, rain and hail began to fall. The tree was hit by lightning. It fell on the wolves' den. Little Wolf was scared. The wolves knew that escaping the den was vital. Mother Wolf said, "Little Wolf, I cannot move the heavy pile of branches." But you can escape with ease. You can get out and find help. Little Wolf crawled out of the den and called all the large animals for help. They went to the den and pulled away the branches. Mother Wolf came out and said, "Thank you, Little Wolf. You saved my life." She softly squeezed Little Wolf and kissed her. Little Wolf smiled. She said, "Mother." This outcome has taught me a profound lesson. Even though I'm small, I'm still important. Unit twenty-one. Word list. Attack. To attack something is to hurt or damage it. She watched the lizard attack its prey. Breast. A breast is one of the two soft parts on a woman's chest. She was diagnosed with breast cancer. Cancer. Cancer is a serious disease that causes cells to grow abnormally. He was a leading scientist in finding a cure for cancer. Cancerous. Cancerous cells are the result of cancer. The exam found cancerous cells in the patient's blood. Cell. A cell is the smallest part of a living thing that can live by itself. A red blood cell carries oxygen. Cigarette. A cigarette is a thinly wrapped paper tube filled with tobacco that is smoked. Cigarette smoking is terrible for your health. Code. A code is a set of symbols used to hide or read a message. She used the code to solve the puzzle. Cure. A cure is a medical treatment to make a sickness go away. Scientists are still working on finding a cure for diabetes. Destruction. To damage something is to cause its destruction. The wildfires left the forest in a state of destruction. 
DNA. DNA is the short form of deoxyribonucleic acid. The police sometimes use DNA to solve crime. Extensive. Extensive means large in size or amount. The game drew extensive media coverage. Female. Female refers to women or girls. She is the only female student in her class with short hair. Furthermore, furthermore means more information will be added. She's clever, and furthermore, she is not afraid of work. Gene. A gene controls what it looks like, how an organism grows, and how it develops. Gene therapy is sometimes used to treat an illness. Inherit. To inherit is to receive something that is passed down from a relative. All the girls in my family inherit red hair from my great grandmother. Link. A link is a connection to something else. The two lines in the poem share a common link. Male. Male refers to men or boys. He was the only male in the store. Population. A population is all the people living in an area. The population of our city is steadily growing. Result. A result happens because of something else. The result of her experiment was surprising. Sugar. Sugar comes from plants and is used to make food taste sweet. She added extra sugar to her tea. Genes and cancer. Cancer is a disease that develops because of unusual cell growth in the human body. Cancer cells take over and attack healthy cells, leaving the normal working cells in a state of destruction. Extensive research has been done to understand the link between genes and cancer. A gene is what decides the traits a living thing may inherit. Genes can be found in the DNA of each cell in the body. DNA contains a code that carries all the needed information about the qualities of a living thing. Genes control how cells work by making proteins that have special jobs. These proteins make up everything. Bones, teeth, muscles, blood, etc., in our bodies. Genes pass on the DNA code to proteins that decide eye color, hair color, and skin color. Furthermore, damaged DNA can sometimes be passed on as well. The damaged DNA can eventually lead to gene changes, which then may result in a problem in the body. Over time, the problem may become a disease. And sometimes even become cancerous. There are many different types of cancers. Breast cancer is the most common in the female population, while prostate cancer is the most common in the male population. Drinking alcohol increases the chances of developing cancer in different places of the body, such as the head, neck, liver, or throat. Cigarette smoking is the number one cause of lung cancer in the United States. Studies also show a strong link between eating too much sugar and a higher risk of cancerous cells growing even faster. Although scientists have been studying cancer, there is still no cure for the disease. Hopefully, a cure will eventually be found and prevent the sadness that comes from losing a loved one to cancer. Unit Twenty Two. Word List. Accommodate. To accommodate is to have enough room. The meeting room can accommodate nine people. Circus. A circus is a traveling show with animals and people. I like to go to the circus to see the animals do tricks. Coincide. To coincide 
means to happen at the same time. My birthday coincides with Christmas. Commission. To commission someone is to pay that person to do some job. The artist was commissioned to create a picture. Dose. A dose is a certain amount of medicine taken at one time. My mother gave me a dose of medicine before I went to bed. Dye. To dye something is to make it a certain color by using a special chemical. Valerie got her hair dyed at the salon yesterday. Extend. The extent of something is how large, important, or serious it is. He ate to such an extent that he became overweight. Gender. Gender is a category that describes being either a boy or a girl. Do you know the gender of her new baby? Headline. A headline is the title of a newspaper story. The headline on the front page was about the economy. Informal. An informal thing is casual and relaxed, not official. They had an informal meeting to talk about their experiences. Inquire. To inquire about something is to ask about it. Dad called to inquire about the price of tickets for the show. Messenger. A messenger is one who carries information from one place to another. The messenger delivered an important document to the office. Peer. To peer at something is to watch it carefully. She peered at people through the window. Portrait. A portrait is a painting or photograph of someone. I saw many religious portraits when I went to the museum. Pose. To pose is to stay in one place without moving. The kids and their dog posed for a picture. Ranch. A ranch is a large farm where animals are kept. My uncle has many horses on his ranch. Steer. To steer something is to control where it goes. He steered the go kart around the track. Stripe. A stripe is a thick line. The flag of the United States has red and white stripes. Tame. A tame animal is not afraid to be near people. The tame bird rested in his hand. Tempt. To tempt people is to offer them something they want but shouldn't have. I wasn't hungry, but she tempted me with a piece of my favorite cake. The circus. Ben was unhappy. He lived on a ranch near a small town, and he didn't have many friends. Then one day. A messenger came to the ranch. He showed the headline in the town newspaper. The circus was coming to the town. It even coincided with Ben's birthday. Ben was very excited as his father steered the car through the town. The circus couldn't accommodate all the people who wanted to see the show, but Ben had a ticket. Ben peered at the activity around him. He watched people of both genders. Dance all around. They wore funny costumes, and their hair was dyed many different colors. Also, tame tigers with stripes on their fur did tricks. Outside, people could commission an informal portrait. They posed in front of a funny picture while an artist quickly drew them. Ben couldn't believe it. He was happier than he had ever been before. That day. Ben knew what he wanted to do. He loved the circus to such an extent that he wanted to have his own circus when he grew older. Seeing the circus was like a dose of medicine for him. He wasn't unhappy anymore. He felt special. He inquired about what he needed to do to have his own circus. 
He studied hard and learned about business. Ben worked very hard, and one day he had his own circus. It was a great circus. People told him that he could be very rich, but he wasn't tempted by money. He just wanted to make children happy. He knew the circus had changed his life, and he wanted to do the same thing for others. Unit 23 Word List Ban To ban something is to not let people do it. Smoking is banned in this building. Cautious A cautious person is careful to avoid danger. Be very cautious as you stack those boxes. Confess To confess is to admit a bad or embarrassing truth. The woman confessed that she had stolen the money. Cottage A cottage is a small, old house in the countryside. My aunt lives in a pretty cottage in the mountains. Daytime Daytime is the time of the day when the sky is light. The kids are only allowed to play outside in the daytime. Desperate A desperate person will try anything to do or change something. I'm desperate to find a new job. Exhausting An exhausting activity is very tiring. After an exhausting journey, we finally arrived. Fade To fade is to become quieter or less bright. The piece of cloth I found was old and faded. Fierce A fierce person or animal is angry or violent. Wolves are fierce animals. Do not disturb them. Gamble To gamble means to play a game that involves winning or losing money. Many people like to go to casinos to gamble. Lawn A lawn is an area covered in grass. My dad keeps the lawn in front of our house very neat. Mow To mow grass is to cut it to make it short. I mow our lawn every weekend. Outlaw An outlaw is a criminal who hides from the police. The police passed out posters of the outlaw to all the people. Prospect A prospect is a possibility that something will happen. He wakes up every morning with the prospect of having a good day. Purse A purse is a bag in which women keep money, makeup, keys, etc. My sister likes to buy designer purses. Rod A rod is a thin stick made of wood or metal. I bought a new fishing rod to use while on vacation. Seldom Seldom shows that an action doesn't happen very often. It seldom rains in southern Arizona. Shave To shave means to cut the hairs on one's face with a sharp tool. My father shaves his face every day because he doesn't want a beard. Terrified A terrified person or animal is extremely scared. When I saw the ghost, I was absolutely terrified. Wizard A wizard is a man who can do magic. The wizard made gold fall from the sky. Lazy Hans Hans was lazy. He seldom helped his mother with anything. He didn't cook and he never mowed the lawn. He didn't even shave. He spent the daytime gambling with his mother's money. One day, his mother realized that her money was gone from her purse. You're banned from my house, she shouted. 
Don't come back until you've learned your lesson. Hans went to live in the forest like an outlaw. But it was cold and Hans couldn't find any food. He went to a cottage to ask for a meal. A wizard answered the door. Can I stay here, please? Hans asked. You can stay if you work, the man replied. Hans liked the prospect of food and warmth, so he agreed. The man pointed to a field. Take this rod and plant it over there. I am a wizard, and this magic rod will bring us food. The field was far away. Hans knew it would be exhausting to walk there. So he just threw the rod behind the cottage and sat by the river. When daylight faded, he returned to the cottage and went to sleep. The next morning, the old man looked very fierce. You didn't take the rod to the field, he shouted. No, confessed Hans. It was too far. Because of you, we have nothing to eat, replied the man. Hans was terrified that the man would punish him, so he ran home. Mama, he cried, I'm desperate to come back. His mother was cautious. Do you promise to work? she asked. Yes, said Hans. I'll never be lazy again. Unit 24 Word List Abroad An action done abroad is done in a different country. My friend is going on a summer trip abroad. Airline an airline is a company that takes people to different places by plane. The airline has excellent customer service. Audience An audience is a group of people who gather to watch someone do something. He was excited to be part of the audience. Bargain A bargain is a very good price paid for a product. She was looking forward to getting a good bargain at the supermarket. Brief. A brief action lasts a short time. The lawyers took a brief break. Currency. The currency of a country is the type of money used in that country. The currency in China is different from that in Australia. Data. Data is a collection of information and facts. He saved all the data on his computer. Domestic Domestic refers to something that happens within a particular country. The airline has 50 domestic flights daily. Draft A draft is a piece of written work that is not in its final form. He was writing his first draft. Gather. To gather is to form a group or bring together. We will gather the children before the meeting. Hobby. A hobby is a fun and creative activity people do in their free time. She liked to paint as a hobby. Income. An income is the money you earned from work. She was saving her income to buy a house. Jet A jet is a fast plane with a big engine. Her company owns a private jet. Maximum Maximum is the highest amount of anything allowed. The maximum driving speed here is 80 kilometers per hour. Official. An official thing is approved by someone in authority. Her official degree was being transferred. Recommend. To recommend means to give advice based on experience. His doctor will recommend the best medicine for her cough. Refer. 
To refer to something means to mention or call attention to it. Mr. Sid referred to the time to show Bill that he was late for class. Remote. A remote place is distant or far away. He lived in a remote village in the Himalayas. Sleepless. Sleepless describes a time period in which someone does not sleep. Jill had a sleepless night because she had so much on her mind. Volume. The volume is the total amount of something. The volume of cars in the parking lot was steadily increasing. Travel writers. Travel writers travel around the world and write about their experiences. They post their articles on an online blog or in a magazine. It may seem like the perfect way to earn income, but there is a lot of hard work involved. Travel writers have to be prepared to travel on short notice. Whether getting on a jet to travel abroad or boarding a small plane for a domestic flight, travel writers must have official documents such as passports. They must also have international currency. And they must have personal belongings ready at all times. Since travel writers also get paid to write about their trips, a laptop to keep track of all the data they gather is important. Being good at research is a must for travel writers. They must choose airlines that offer maximum travel perks. They must hunt for hotel bargains, and they must choose the best things to do on a brief trip. Good travel writers must attract an audience in large volumes. To do this, they first write drafts about their experiences. They edit the drafts many times. Since they get paid to recommend and refer travelers to hotels, restaurants, and places to visit, their articles have to be well written and inviting to read. Getting paid to travel around the world might seem like an exciting profession. But travel writers often endure sleepless nights and long wait times at the airport. They travel to remote locations and must adjust to new environments. It takes some time to make these adjustments, but for someone who loves to travel as a hobby and loves to write, being a travel writer is a great job. Unit twenty-five. Word list. Circulate. To circulate is to spread something around, especially in a circular way. The fan helped to circulate cool air through the room. Consequent. Consequent means happening because of a different situation. Her consequent rash came after she touched the poisonous plant. Derive. To derive means to come or originate from a thing or place. Red's nickname was derived from the color of her hair. Drown. To drown is to die from not being able to breathe underwater. He would have drowned if the sailors had not rescued him. Dynasty. A dynasty is a series of rulers who are all from the same family. The ancient Egyptians had a dynasty that lasted for many years. Fraction. A fraction is a small part of something. Only a fraction of the cake was gone. Frost. Frost is a white layer of ice that forms during very cold weather. In the morning, the trees were all covered with frost. Illusion. An illusion is something that looks real but doesn't actually exist. Some pictures create an illusion for the eyes. Invade. To invade is to take over a place by force. The enemy forces tried to invade our country from the sky. Lieutenant. A lieutenant is a rank in the military or police, 
or a person with that rank. The lieutenant was a good leader, and his soldiers respected him. Marine. Marine describes something related to the sea. A healthy ocean is full of marine animals. Merit. A merit is a positive or good quality. The actor received an award for his merits in the movie. Navy. A navy is the part of a country's military that fights at sea. My country is known for our strong navy. Polar. Polar relates to the cold places on Earth's north and south ends. Only a few people live in the Earth's northern polar region. Ray. A ray is a line of light that comes from a bright object. The sun's warm rays covered the beach. Resign. To resign means to quit a job. After I officially resigned from work, I said goodbye to my boss. Suicide. Suicide is the act of killing oneself. Some people feel so sad that they think suicide is the only answer. Tremble. To tremble is to shake as a result of excitement or cold weather. Harry was not used to the cold, so he trembled most of the day. Underlying. An underlying thing is a hidden cause or reason. Her underlying fear of flying reduced her traveling options. Via. Via introduces a route or means of travel. We arrived in the city from the airport via the train. How did Greenland get its name? The nation of Greenland isn't very green. The sun's rays don't shine there for three whole months. As a result, it's covered with snow, ice, and frost. Then, how was the name derived? It started with a Viking named Eric the Red. Eric had many merits. However, there was an underlying problem. He got angry easily. People were scared of him. However, he was married to the niece of a very powerful man. So everybody tried to be nice to him. One day, Eric fought with his neighbor and killed him. His consequent punishment was to leave Iceland. Many stories circulated about a land west of Iceland, but only a fraction of the people in Iceland believed them. Still, Eric wanted to find it. Eric sailed toward the land via the Atlantic Ocean. His marine knowledge was good, but the trip was hard. Some of his men drowned. Eric's lieutenant wanted to resign from his position. Others thought about committing suicide. Suddenly, Eric thought he saw something. "I don't believe it," said Eric. "It must be an illusion." But it was no trick. It was the new land. Eric trembled in the cold polar air. He saw that there was ice everywhere. He realized that the ice could keep enemies out. Not even the best navy could invade the new land. He could start a new dynasty in his name, but how could he convince people to live here? I'll call it Greenland, he said. Eric's plan worked. Within two years, over a thousand people moved to Greenland. Unit twenty-six. Word list. Alter. To alter something means to change it. I altered the color of my nails to match my hair. Aside, an action done aside is done toward the side of something or some place. The man stood aside and opened the door for me. Autumn. Autumn is the season of the year between summer and winter. 
I love when the leaves fall in autumn because I can play in them. Blend. To blend is to mix two or more things together so that they become one thing. My wife blended together all of the ingredients to make a delicious stew. Collapse. To collapse is to fall down suddenly. The tree collapsed right in front of our house. Crush. To crush something is to press it together so its shape is destroyed. Selena's new car was crushed when the tree fell on top of it. Curve. To curve is to move in a line that bends and does not go straight. The road curves to the left and to the right. Disgusting. A disgusting thing is very unpleasant. After running all day, Greg's feet had a disgusting odor. Drain. A drain is a pipe that carries away water from a building, such as in a kitchen. The water in the sink goes down the drain as you wash your hands. Embrace. To embrace is to hug. When they saw each other again, the happy couple embraced. Envy. To envy someone is to wish that you had something that other person has. Sally envied the happy couple. Fireworks. Fireworks are objects that create colored lights when they are lit. The display of fireworks was so beautiful. Flower. Flour is a powder made from plants that is used to make foods like bread. I wanted to bake a pie, but I needed flour. Fuse. A fuse is a string on fireworks that burns to make them explode. The boy lit the fuse on the rocket and waited for it to burst in the sky. Ginger. Ginger is a root of a plant that is used to make food spicy and sweet. Ginger is a common ingredient in many dishes from India. Jealous. A jealous person might take something from you. Miriam was jealous because Sue was paying too much attention to Jim. Paste. A paste is a thick and smooth substance. My son needed some paste for a school project. Receipt. A receipt is a paper that proves that something was received or bought. After looking at my receipt, I realized that I had spent too much money. Wipe. To wipe something is to slide a piece of cloth over it to clean it. She wiped the dust from the windows. Wire. A wire is a thin string made out of metal. The wires were connected to towers that brought electricity to the city. Everyone is special. When I was young, everything that went wrong in my house seemed to be my fault. Once my brothers tried to make cookies. They blended flour and ginger and made a disgusting paste. Then they tried to wash it down the drain, but it got all over the floor. Later, my brothers said that I had done it and I had to wipe it up. I worried that my parents liked them more than me. One autumn day, I was sure I would make my parents proud. I bought a model rocket. After I put it together. I invited everybody to watch it. I wanted my brothers to envy my technical knowledge. I lit the fuse, but nothing happened. Looks like your fireworks don't work. I hope you kept the receipt so you can return them. My brother said, "It's not a firework!" I screamed. They were making fun of me again. I didn't know what went wrong. I hadn't altered anything. I quickly moved the wires on the bottom, hoping that would help. Suddenly, the rocket flew up. 
We stood aside as it curved through the grass and ran straight into the mailbox. Then the mailbox collapsed. The rocket was crushed. Embarrassed, I ran inside and hid. A few minutes later, my mom asked, Are you okay? I just wanted them to be jealous of me for once. Now I see why you and Dad don't love me as much as you love them, I said. That's not true, said my mom. See my fingers? Each one is different. You kids are like my fingers. All are different, but I love them all the same. I embraced her. Now I know that my parents love me just as much as my brothers. Unit 27 Word List Acknowledge To acknowledge something is to accept that it is true or that it exists. The teacher acknowledged that the young student was hungry. Ambassador An ambassador is a government worker who works in another country. The ambassador from Korea was in charge of the conference. Blonde A blonde is a person with light-colored hair. My cousin is a blonde with blue eyes. Conquer To conquer a place means to attack and take control of it. The soldiers were trying to conquer the world. Drag To drag something means to pull it across the ground. The dog was dragging his owner down the street. Exaggerate To exaggerate is to say that something is bigger or better than it really is. Jimmy wasn't exaggerating about the seriousness of his injury. Heritage Heritage is the collection of features of a society, such as language and religion. Teepees are part of the heritage of the Native Americans of the Plains. Insult To insult someone is to say things that will hurt the person's feelings. The girls insulted each other all afternoon. Meanwhile an action that happens meanwhile happens at the same time as another action. He wants to be a doctor in the future, but meanwhile, he works a regular job. Necklace A necklace is a piece of jewelry that people wear around their necks. Joyce received a lovely pearl necklace for her wedding anniversary. Noble a noble is a rich and powerful person. The queen invited a noble from a nearby country to dinner. Precious A precious thing is valuable and important. In a desert, water can be more precious than money. Prejudice A prejudice is an unfair opinion about people based on the group they belong to. The company's rules against gender prejudice must be enforced. Rumor A rumor is a story that may not be true. Carla was spreading rumors around the office. Sin A sin is something that is wrong for religious reasons. Taking something that doesn't belong to you is a sin. Spectacle a spectacle is an amazing sight. Niagara Falls is quite a spectacle. Stack A stack is a pile of different things. There was a stack of paperwork on his desk to complete. Suspicious A suspicious person does not trust others or is not trusted by others. Dad was suspicious of the caller on the line. Tin Tin is an inexpensive metal. Soup is a food that is often sold in tin cans. Vase A vase is an attractive container in which people keep flowers. 
The vase was filled with such lovely flowers. Pizarro and the Inca Gold According to rumors, there's lots of precious gold hidden in the jungles of Peru. It got there when the Spanish conquered parts of South America. A Spanish noble, Francisco Pizarro, arrived in Peru in the 1500s. He found a group of people called the Incas. The Incas believed that their leader, Atahualpa, was both a king and a god. But Pizarro didn't agree. It is a sin for a man to think he is God, he said to Atahualpa. Atahualpa thought Pizarro was insulting his heritage. He thought the blonde Spanish men held prejudices against the Incas. But Atahualpa was a kind man and didn't want to fight the Spaniards. He said, If I give you a room full of gold, will you leave my country in peace? Pizarro was suspicious. He thought Atahualpa was exaggerating. But a few days later, Pizarro returned to the Inca Palace with his ambassadors. He saw a room filled with stacks of gold. There were golden necklaces, cups, plates, and vases. It was a great spectacle. He acknowledged that Atahualpa had told the truth. But after seeing the gold, he wanted all of Peru's gold. So he didn't leave the country. The Spanish soldiers stayed in Peru and grabbed all the gold they could find. But the Inca people tricked the Spaniards. They mixed the gold with tin so that it was poor quality. They gave this gold to the Spaniards. Meanwhile, they hid the good gold. They put it into sacks and dragged it deep into the jungle. The Spanish conquerors never found the gold. People think it is still there today. Unit 28 Word List Ache To ache is to hurt or cause pain. Mindy's head ached because she bumped it against the wall. Arctic Arctic shows that something is of or from the cold, far north part of the Earth. It is cold when the Arctic winds blow. Canal A canal is a path for water to travel through. The city of Venice, Italy has many canals. Chemist A chemist is a scientist who works with chemicals. My mother is a successful chemist who helps invent new products. Chill A chill is a feeling of cold. The chill from the cold wind made Bill shiver. Congress Congress is a group of leaders in a government. Congress makes laws for people to follow. Dairy Dairy shows that something is made from milk. Things like milk and cheese are dairy foods. Descend To descend is to go downward. I descended the stairs to get out of the building. Grocer A grocer is a person who sells food. Our grocer, Mr. Smith, is a very kind man. Hesitate To hesitate is to wait for a short time before doing something. He hesitated for a moment before he decided which one to choose. Institution An institution is an organization that works to help a city or group of people. Banks are vital institutions that businesses and people use every day. Jog To jog is to run slowly. He jogs every day so he can be healthier. Merchant A merchant is a person who sells things. The merchant was selling used cars. Poke To poke something is to push something quickly with your finger or a pointed object. I poked my finger on a thumbtack. Postpone 
To postpone something is to make it happen later than planned. They postponed the meeting until Elena arrived. Splash. To splash is to crash into something so that liquid spreads out. Some green paint splashed upon the floor. Stubborn. Stubborn people don't change their minds easily. Both of my parents are stubborn. They never give in to each other. Suburb. A suburb is a small part of a large city. I grew up in the suburbs, only a few minutes outside of the city. Tide. The tide is the level of the water in the sea. The tide continued to crawl upon the beach little by little. Tragedy. A tragedy is a very sad event. It was a tragedy when his house was struck by lightning and burned. The boy who saved the town. Marcus lived in a small suburb near the sea. He was a stubborn boy, and he only cared about himself. His father worked as a chemist for a large institution, and wanted Marcus to get a job there. Instead, the boy delivered milk. Every morning, he took dairy products to the grocers. One day, Marcus was jogging down the street that descended into the lower part of the town with a gallon of milk to give to a merchant. He didn't want to be late. He ran down a path beside a large canal. A wall there kept water from coming into the town during high tide, but Marcus saw a small hole in the wall. Marcus knew that if the wall broke, it would be a tragedy for the town. At first, he hesitated. He had to choose between helping himself and helping the town. There was only one way to save the town. It seemed crazy to him, but it was the only thing he could do. He poked his finger into the hole. This didn't fix the problem forever, but it did postpone the tragedy. His finger ached. He felt the chill of the Arctic water as it splashed him. There was no one else around. He knew he had to wait until the tide went out again. It was very difficult, but Marcus stayed there and saved the town. Once the tide had gone out, Marcus told everyone what happened. A group of people went to the wall. They saw the hole and fixed it. Everyone was very happy with Marcus. The local congress even gave him a gift for saving the town. He was a hero. Unit twenty nine. Word list. Bomb. A bomb is an object that explodes and destroys large areas. The bomb will destroy anything that is nearby. Certificate. A certificate is a document that says that something is true or happened. I was given a certificate for completing the computer course. Circumstance. A circumstance is an event that makes a situation what it is. There were many circumstances behind their success, like hard work. Coffin. A coffin is a box used to bury dead people. When people pass away, they are usually buried inside of a coffin. Cope. To cope with a difficult or stressful situation means to deal with it. He copes with work stress by exercising three or four times a week. Criticism. Criticism is the act of saying that something is not correct or good. She had a lot of criticism about their new plan. Devastate. To devastate something is to cause great damage or pain to that thing. The entire wall was devastated. Frown. To frown is to make an unhappy look with one's face. Melissa frowned when she found out that the party had been canceled. Gaze. To gaze at something means to look at it for a long time. 
We used a telescope to gaze at the stars for over an hour. Glance. To glance at something means to look at it quickly. She glanced behind her to see if he was looking at her. Grief. Grief is the feeling of deep sadness, usually when a person dies. The grief caused by losing her parents was very difficult for her. Groom. A groom is a man who is going to be married. The groom looked happy as he walked with his new wife. License. A license is an official document that gives one permission to do something. In the United States, you need a driver's license to drive legally. Microscope. A microscope is a device that makes small objects look bigger. Germs cannot be seen without a microscope. Nuclear. A nuclear thing relates to the division or joining of atoms. Nuclear power plants provide inexpensive energy to cities. Portray. To portray something means to describe it or show it in a picture. Her picture portrayed the house she grew up in when she was little. Rotate. To rotate something means to turn it around in a circle. An airplane's propellers rotate quickly to help it fly. Souvenir. A souvenir is something bought to remember of a place or event. I bought a Russian doll as a souvenir on my trip to Moscow. Submarine. A submarine is a boat that can go underwater for long periods of time. The submarine dove under the sea so the enemy couldn't see it. Trace. To trace something means to follow over it with the eyes or a finger. He traced over the graph with his finger. An interesting life. A man looked through some boxes with his grandson. They were filled with old photographs and objects that portrayed important events from the grandfather's life. He wished to share the circumstances behind each event with his grandson. The grandson, however, thought his grandfather's stories were boring. The grandfather coped with this. He ignored his grandson's criticism. He took a photo from the box. That's the submarine I was on during the war, he explained. The grandson gazed at it. The grandfather glanced at the next picture and frowned. It showed a row of coffins. His grandson noticed the grief in his grandfather's face. What is it? the boy inquired. This was after a nuclear bomb was dropped, the grandfather answered. It devastated a city. Next, the grandfather pulled a toy microscope from the box and rotated it in his hand. Where did you get that? the grandson asked. This is a souvenir I bought at the science museum, the grandfather said. Now, the boy was really interested. He started to understand that his grandfather was telling him a larger story. It was the story of his grandfather's life. The grandfather picked up another photo. It showed a young bride and groom. They were very happy. A certificate was attached to the photo. The boy couldn't read it, but he traced his finger over the paper. What's this from, Grandad? he asked. That's my marriage license from the day I married your grandmother, the grandfather said. Wow, said the boy. Grandad, now I know all about your life. Unit 30 Word List Coastline A coastline is the outline of a country's coast. He noticed that most of the cities in Australia are on the coastline. Deter 
To deter means to prevent or discourage someone from doing something. Icy roads deter people from driving their cars. Devise. To devise something means to come up with an idea or plan about it. The thieves devised a plan to steal the diamonds. Distance. A distance is how far it is between two points. The distance between America and Russia is about 8,000 kilometers. Expertise. Expertise is the knowledge and skills to do something well. John has a lot of advertising expertise. He can sell anything. Fracture. A fracture is a crack or break in something. Don't stand on that leg because there is a fracture. It might get worse. Headache. Headache is a pain in one's head. My sister gets a headache every time she has a lot of stress. Implement. To implement something means to ensure that what has been planned is done. The school decided to implement a new teaching strategy. Insight. Insight is a deep and accurate understanding of something. The physics textbook gave the student a new insight about gravity. Limb. A limb is a large branch on a tree. The monkey sat on the tree limb and enjoyed a piece of fruit. Might. Might means strength or power. Try with all your might to lift the heavy tire. Optimism. Optimism is the state of being hopeful about the future. The mother had optimism about her children's futures. Proficient. Proficient means able to do something well. Secretaries are proficient at typing quickly. Raft. A raft is a flat kind of boat. He sailed across the Pacific Ocean on a raft. Ridge. A ridge is a long, narrow piece of raised land. The brown bear walked along the edge of the mountain ridge. Shoulder. A shoulder is the body part between the top of the arm and the neck. He carried his bike on his shoulder. Shove. To shove something is to push it with a lot of power. She shoved him out of the way. Spouse. A spouse is the person to whom someone is married. I live in a home with my spouse and our two children. Thrust. To thrust means to push or move something quickly with a lot of force. The boxer thrust his fist into the punching bag. Tolerate. To tolerate something means to be able to accept it even when it is unpleasant. When you are in a hurry, it can be hard to tolerate traffic signals. The island. Where am I? Bob thought to himself when he woke up on a beach. I can't remember what happened. There had been a bad storm, and Bob's fishing boat had sunk. He washed ashore on a small island. But he had gotten hurt during the storm. He had a terrible headache, and he had a fracture in his shoulder. He felt awful, but he had a strong desire to make it home to his spouse and children. He had to tolerate all the pain and devise a plan. Bob stood up and looked around. I'll walk to a higher place so I can see everything around me and see far in the distance. Thought Bob, maybe I'll gain some insight about this island and find something to help me escape. As he walked along a mountain ridge, he noticed that the tall trees looked strong and thick. Bob got a brilliant idea: he could build a raft. He cut down some leaves and tree limbs. 
Even though his shoulder injury affected his ability to carry the materials, he slowly shoved them down the mountain until he reached the coastline. Bob was a proficient builder. He used his building expertise to line up the limbs and tie them together with long vines. When the raft was finished, Bob was happy with his work. This will bring me home to my family, he said with a smile. At last, Bob was ready to implement his plan. With all his might, he thrust the raft into the water. He climbed on and began the job of finding his way home. Bob smiled again and thought, I'm glad I kept a good attitude. It prevented the pain from deterring me from my plan. Optimism and ambition make anything possible. Slowly, he floated out to sea. In a few days, he made it to shore and ran home to see his worried family.